Have you ever wanted to study abroad or go to a different country, but you aren't really sure if you're capable of doing it because you don't understand the language or the people or the culture? Well, MSSU has you covered. They have things called theme semesters. These theme semesters help you prepare and learn all about the country that you want to go to. Last year's in 2022, it was the Czech Republic, and before that it was Japan. Japan was the country that I actually really wanted to go to. Japan was something I've always been interested in since I was in high school, and when I graduated in 2021, I started learning the language. But on my own, I wasn't capable of doing it well enough to be comfortable with going. Until in my first year at MSSU, my sophomore year in 2022. I made three friends. Yui, Mizuho, and Yudie. They all helped me learn the language, the differences between Japan and America, and all the different cultures and different things that coexist in that country. First off, the language is very different and difficult compared to English. There's three different alphabets in Japan, Hiragana, Katakana, and Kanji. Hiragana is the main alphabet they use for learning how to speak, or read anything. It's how you pronounce the words and it gets into your basis for everything. Katakana is what they use purely for translation. A lot of words in English and other languages aren't in Japanese, like chocolate or pizza. So they use this language, this alphabet, to translate those words over to their language to be able to be understood. Kanji is a combination of these two and is only really used in writing. One kanji symbol can be a whole common phrase in Japanese, such as watashi wa, which is I am, it can be used with one symbol as opposed to writing out each individual symbol in hiragana or katakana. After learning the languages, one of the many topics of conversation in 2023 of Christmas mainly was holidays and the differences between our countries. They celebrate Christmas, but it's not nearly the same as here. It's not anything religion-based like there is here with Christianity and some base Christmas around God's birth, or Jesus' birth, I should say. But there, it's just, you know, a themed holiday, winter, and then you get everything goes. No presents, nothing like that. Same with Thanksgiving. Obviously, they don't sit, celebrate Thanksgiving. It's an American-only holiday. But here, they were able to experience that for the first time. These differences we learned from each other were great in my understanding of their country. And one of the many things that I actually was not prepared for when we talked was their appropriation differences in America, their inclusiveness, I should say. They themselves were completely okay with people of LGBTQ or even different races, but over in Japan, at least from my knowledge of what they described to me, is that people aren't as inviting, they aren't as openly social, The way that they were able to experience different inclusiveness, different cultures, people, even love here in America was something that they thought they would never would experience. And it's the same as if I went there. The different experiences that we were all able to share on politics, language, holidays, inclusivity is something that anybody should be able to go through. And it's something that the theme semesters can help ground you in. Emphasis Youth theme semesters can help you learn about any kind country that you ever would want to go to, any culture, any people. It is wonderful and everybody should be able to achieve what they want to do with these programs.